An infrared night vision camera? Let's check it out. Oh, Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this. This is so cool. This is the Psyonix Aurora, and it's an infrared night vision camera and video system. And as you can see, it's a pretty modest sized device, but boy, the results it gets are pretty startlingly good. So, let me tell you, first off, water resistant IP67, so if you need to be outside in the forest, in the rain, you can do it. High def color, true night vision, but We'll talk about specs. Let's just get right to some example footage. So, this first footage is daytime of a river. As you can see, it's just a nice video camera. But let's switch to nighttime. So this is a nighttime scene at a lake. And there are obviously lights on the houses on the far edge of the lake. But you can see, it's pretty cool the way it captures this. Let's look at a couple of photos too. So this first photo is actually of it in daytime gain, which means that it's trying to interpolate and actually include color. So it's a little bit pixelated, but then this one is just grayscale. And you can see as a nighttime photo, this was basically completely dark. If I would have tried taking a picture of this with my iPhone, it would have been just a big black square. <laughs> so I think that's pretty remarkable. Where this really was fun was during Halloween. So it was just a little while ago and I was probably a little bit weird stalkery, but I stood outside and I actually used the camera to capture this footage of some kids trick-or-treating across the street from me. Now, I think you'll agree that all of that footage is pretty remarkable. This little camera does a really nice job and it has a lot of features and capabilities, one of which is it actually creates a Wi-Fi connection of its own. So when you put it in the right mode, and on the side here is the dial that gives you access to all the different modes, but when you put it in the right mode, it becomes basically a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you connect your phone and then you launch the Psyonix Aurora app and let me just step through that real quickly. As you can see, you connect to the camera and then the app shows you everything that's on the camera. And this gets a little confusing. So these are images on the camera and then you can transfer them onto the phone, but they're still in the app on the phone. So you have a third step that you need to transfer them from the app into your camera roll if you wanna be able to share them on Instagram or email them to people or whatever. So a little bit complicated on the app side, but totally worth it because I think the results you get are terrific. Now, let me tell you a little bit. The app also gives you the ability to do remote control camera. So you can set your camera in just the right spot and then from the app you can control taking photos or starting and stopping video footage. So if you are a wannabe private eye or you're trying to catch that kid who keeps stealing stuff off your porch at night, tools like this can be really great. Now, let's see, it features an ultra low light CMOS system that's starlight capable and let me give you just a couple of specs. So the lens is a 16 millimeter f1.4 in night mode, f2.0 in twilight mode, and f5.6 in daylight. And there's a dial or a control here on the top that lets you change from daytime to twilight to nighttime. And I'll tell you that doing the right setting makes a world of difference. When I first got this, I was doing all the settings wrong. It takes a little while to figure out. And I was just like, boy, these aren't very good results. And then I adjusted the gain and I'm like, holy cow, this is so cool. <laughs> and let's see. So video or photos it takes 360p or 720p i was shooting at the higher resolution at 7.5 15 24 30 or 60 frames per second 60 frames per second is pretty high quality that's better than what you're watching right now so also has a built-in gps and compass if that's important and it is it works off of a memory card that you have to apply or actually um, bring your own basically but it is non-trivial to figure out how to install it. <laughs> I highly recommend you go to the Psyonix website and watch their video, because you basically take pieces of this apart, and it's almost like one of those Chinese sliding puzzles. 
you'll see when you try to do that it is doable it took me a couple of minutes to try to figure it out and i'm like oh that's where it's all hidden cool so you can do it and then you never really have to mess with it again because of that easy wi-fi connectivity you can just go ahead and, and go and you know get all the images and stuff directly it also charges via micro usb which you see down here and I haven't tried it, but my guess is that also would give you the ability to transfer data through that connection. And finally, has a rechargeable battery and the battery gives you two hours of recording time on a charge so that's pretty nice now before we wrap up let me just give you just a little bit more of a tour of things because on the top there's the button that gives you the ability to start and stop video or to take photographs and then there's all these controls for doing the on-screen menu there's nothing folds out or anything so you spend a lot of time doing this and it gets really weird at night because this is bright and so when you're doing this at night and you're monitoring what you're recording you then take it away from your eye and of course your eyes are like womp womp because it's a little distracting <laughs> um, let's see otherwise there is a manual focus I find that if I just leave it focused left on infinity it seems to always do the right thing and then on the side is really the main control, which is on off with, you can go to camera or video mode. They have a um, slow, uh, repetitive photo, like blanking on what the word is, <laughs> so it goes. Um, and then there is a mode that lets you access all of the data on the card. So like I said, you can access it via the cable, so that's pretty easy. The whole thing's really remarkably light comes with this carrying strap, pretty handy. Also comes with a data transfer cable, and it comes with this sort of soft fabric case, but here's the one thing that really surprised me. There's no lens cap. I really don't understand why there's not some sort of a lens cap that you can leave on, whether or not it's leashed to the unit or you just put it in your pocket. It does make me a little anxious just toting it around with the lens, and there's, there's not even any bezel on it. The lens glass is right there on the top surface, and I feel like this is just going to get damaged, even if it's just hanging around my neck. So... Not sure why they didn't include one, but really, honestly, that's probably my only complaint. Now, I will make an observation. As you saw in the daytime video footage, it's really hard to have this be stable without a tripod if you're doing video, because holding it this way, you have to look through the camera the whole time, and it's really hard to be super stable in this configuration versus like a camera that you might be able to hold like this or hold with both hands or something. So this might be just my error. <laughs> But I found this a little tricky to manage in terms of getting really stable shots. But it does have a standard screw mount on the bottom. So it would be very easy for you to use a tripod and get really nice stable images. So there's that. Now, before I tell you the price, let me go ahead and ask if you can subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate when you do. And hey, leave a comment or something. Give me some feedback. Do you have an infrared night vision camera? Do you want one? If you had something like this, what would you use it for? So I find this really fun, but I'm not really sure what my use case is. I don't really go around late at night trying to take videos. <laughs> Sounds a little bit creepy, actually. Although, of course, there's tons of valid uses. If you're a hunter, outdoor person, whatever, could be really fun to catch that darn raccoon in your garbage can for example so with that this is the psionics aurora ir night vision camera and it is 799 dollars at psionics.com i say if you have a use case for something like this this is a phenomenally cool device and it does remarkably well in almost zero light which is quite fun if you're used to using like your smartphone and saying oh this is horrible it just doesn't work because it's dark this will work regardless of the lighting situation unless i suppose you're deep into a cave and there's literally zero light in which case this probably isn't going to work either otherwise i think i'm going back to it so that means i will catch you in my next video